<laughs> hey guys, it's Tyler from 69 Gaming here with a whole new gameplay of Nekapara. We're here right here with the MCone 64 and we're ready to play. Let's go! Hold on, let me check the config is... Yeah, he's looking, he's looking, pressing the data load. We're just going through the settings here, you know, nothing, nothing too important. But you got to rem remember that chest bounciness has to be all the way up. Like, no, no drop below. This is not happening. Exactly. All right, here we go. I'm feeling a bit nervous. So thank you, thank you very much. I'm heading out now. Wait, who's the main character? Phew! This should be most of the boxes then. Why is he British? I wipe I I wipe the sweat off my forehead with my arm. What? Are you gonna make up your mind with the accent? Yep. As the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring. Today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start, if I do say so. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have any signage yet. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There was also a large window which lets lots of sunlight in. And finally, there were the words that displayed the name of the bakery. Some, some Italian thing that I'm not even going to try and pronounce. French. French, that's the word. La solio patissiere. Don't ask me how I've memorized the name to the guy's bakery in this game. I think Ma Matthew masturbates a lot to this game. Instead of the proper French article, le, it was le, la soleil, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I very much admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would ever tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the stature of my family's name and everything that has happened up until now. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I would do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead of, had made me break into a smile. All right, in any case, I'd better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the, I stepped into the, <laughs> the no smelling bakery. Come in, I'll be the sound effects guy. <laughs> Hold on, let me just hit my vape real quick. Hmm, what's wrong with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate. Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, they were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags for the moving company either. All there was were, was were those black warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... 
Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I choose! Wait, hold on. I thought I was the female characters. Alright, you gotta be the female characters in that. Hold up. Oh god, I haven't done my vocal warm up yet. Heck. Just punch, punch yourself in the throat, make yourself feel better. <laughs> whoa! Huh? Good thing I had some pepper on me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm not doing this. Matt, no. Matt. You're already in too deep. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh, it's just a cat. Oh no, it's you. Heck. Oh. It's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez Louise, bro. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness, looks like that fooled him. <laughs> that was close, Chopper better be careful, yeah. Like, that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocolat? We just we just saw each other at home yesterday, you know. The line. Can I go back? No. Okay. Well. Well. Um. That is true, Chocolate. I guess. Listen up. Those movers were really mean. Absolutely fuming. Pum pum. Well, this is a great spot to end the episode here with Hascone and M Cone. Oh, on Tilesome Gaming's official YouTube channel. What a massive cliffhanger to leave it the episode on. Thank you. Yet, th thank you so much. It hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Okay, we haven't hit the 10 minute mark yet. Excuse this. Just chucking an ad break or something here. Anyways, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. Go on. Oh, sorry, Snapchat takes priority. She ignored what I said. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you'd describe Chocolate. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Hey! Long time no see. Kokoji sama. Why is Vanilla here too? ちょっとだが<笑><笑> Again, huh? Okay. In any case, Chocla, Vanilla, get out of there! Ah! Angry has come. I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocla and Vanilla got out of their boxes.
Matt, has it been ten? There's been ten minutes here. Almost. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shiguri doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that chocolate and vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. Almost. They can understand words and talk, just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. They were genetic, genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into society. As pets and families are partners to humans. My little sister really does dote on cat girls. So our family has six things with each other and them In any case, they couldn't have mounted themselves all on their own. My being living things through the post would be impossible with one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that this was somehow Shig Shiguri is doing. I see, so Shiguri was an accomplice then. Alright, so on that on that point, what a great place to end this episode of Let's Play Nekapara with Hascone and Mcone on the Tilesome Gaming YouTube community. I would like you guys all to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Let's get this to at least ten views so that Tyler gets jealous. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Look at them. Look at them go. End the recording. <laughs>